Hey, one more thing before you go. What does Shogun, only murders in the building, the bear, and True Detective all have in common? They're all up for Emmys. This is Sunday night, September 15, 2024. And on ABC tonight, the Emmys are there. I'm excited. How about you? I'm very excited. I love the Emmys. Well, Diane and I are going to have a rundown of our favorites and who we think is going to win. And, of course, I'm your host, Michael Hurst, and I'm here with my lovely wife and co-host, Diane. Hi. Happy Emmy Sunday. Welcome to One More Thing Before You Go over the Teacup Sunday. Hey, Diane. Hello, Michael. We wait for this every year, don't we? Mm-hmm. I, it's my second favorite award show. Your the Golden second. Globes are my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, between, <clears throat> between, I mean, there's a lot of awards that we don't I'll always get to see, the SAG Awards and the WGA Awards and, mm-hmm. you know, those kind of things. But we always really try to make sure we find the Oscars, the Emmys, and the Golden Globes. And yep. uh, yeah, it's on tonight. So I know we're a little late. You know, hopefully we can get you this information prior. Well, let's tell everybody a little bit about it. The nominations for the 2024 Emmy Awards were announced this summer by past Emmy winners Tony Hale and Cheryl Lee Ralph. They revealed that the TV Academy had a particular fondness for a handful of shows, like they always do, some of which will win, some of which won't. Some of them will be happy, some of them will be sad, some of them will be angry, some of them will be less angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you well, know, others I, may... I, I, I think there's a lot of them who are probably just really, you know, just, ha- I mean, it's cliche, happy to be, I'm just happy to be nominated. Happy I assume nominated. there are some that really are just happy to be nominated. Well, uh, yeah. we can ask that of Meryl Streep, I think, between the, like, was she nominated for something like 26 Oscars or something? She goes, I, yeah, well, I'm just no happy idea. to be nominated. Well, yeah. And now I'm sure she walks walks off stage and goes, again, damn right. it. <laughs> right. But she's won a, hand, a lot of Emmys. She has. Yeah. So, so. the Emmys 2024 show, um, again, they start this evening. You'll find them on your local ABC station. They're being hosted by Eugene Levy and his son, Dan Levy. We love them both. I love them. It's going to be so much fun. It will Yay. be. We just got through watching, as we talked about uh, on the show, we just got through watching uh, Eugene Levy in The Reluctant Traveler. It's a really mm-hmm. good program. you got to watch it. Yeah. And uh, there was a few places he went to that Dan had um, kind of recommended him. Uh, mm-hmm. And you'll know them both from Schitt's Creek. Mm-hmm. Awesome show. So good. So good. So One good. One of the so best good. shows ever. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it's interesting because Shogun, you know, which you haven't watched yet. You know, I, did you watch part of it? That's the reason you said you I've want seen, to? I've seen bits and pieces of it. And um, yeah, I don't need to watch anymore. Shogun <laughs> is based on, on true things. And, you know, the thing that I really like about it is that uh, a large portion of the cast actually are descendants of Shogun. Which is very cool. That Which is, is very a very cool. cool part of it. Yes, yeah. and yes. There, a large, a large portion of the of the series is actually in Japanese. So, get ready to be used to um, close, you know, captions, Sub, subtitles, yeah, subtitles and things like that because um, they speak in their negative language and you know they try to make it as, as real as possible. In fact, this year they actually are shooting for this next season. They're shooting in Japan, and they're pretty That's excited cool. about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and cool. it's a really it 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 just it's intense. Um, you learn history, you learn the realities of what's going on. I love the show. I haven't watched the whole thing yet. I keep saying I love it, but as everybody knows, I'm like busy, 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 busy. Yes, yes. But you know, the, I I say I, had, I I've seen bits and pieces. I think I think unfortunately I've only seen probably some of the most gory parts of it. And I haven't got, I haven't been able to really get into, or I, I just haven't been around when you're watching it. Um, and, Enough to and get into the story. And, it, and it's the plot. Yeah, the plot of it. I mm-hmm. just see all the very gory, horrifying, horrifying scenes. You know, and, so, and realistically, it is, it is, they try to make it as true to, you know, it's, it's by, based on a book, but they're, 
The book is based on true events for the most part. Obviously, they take some dramatic license because they have to to make it appealing. Um, right. But, you know, it's immense. The costuming, the, the set design, the story, the cinematography, the direction, the acting, everything is just amazing. And that's why Shogun leads the full list of Emmy nominations 2024 with yeah. 25 nominations. That's crazy. 25. Well, they'll, they'll probably, uh, they'll probably sweep it. I mean, I think usually the, usually the, the, the show that has the most nominations does win the most. Usually. Does. usually. The, the bear so. did it last year. Mm-hmm. And they're they're followed by the bear this year, actually. Mm-hmm. The, bear, the bear, only like murders that. in the building, and True Detective Night Country, are like at top of the list. And you know, mm-hmm. for for nominations and and for um, for everything from acting, directing, cinematography, for writing, for um, best actress, best actor. Um, I'm just looking through the list here. Obviously, Abbott Elementary. That's that's always a big one too. But um, it, I don't know where Morning Show falls as far as numbers of nominations. Do you know that? Uh, I don't. I think they got 11. Because just in the supporting actress in the drama series category, yeah. there's four of them from the Morning Show. I think they got just 11. Just in that one. Yeah, I think, I think okay. um, uh, the Morning Show got 11. I forgot to add well, the Morning Show in the, in the opening. That's pretty good. I know. We love the Morning Show. But we love I'm the so excited for show. it to come back. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean it. It deserves all of it too. I mean, it's just one of my absolute favorite shows. You know, and it, it also fun. goes back to some things like you know um, where you get, you get the um, where last year the Bear Jeremy Jeremy Allen White won mm-hmm. you know, as an actor in a comedy series, and you know they just they moved it to the comedy series at kind of not won't say at the last minute, but close to the last minute they moved it into the comedy series. I still don't think it's a comedy. See. We with us we disagree on this. Um, yeah. That show makes me laugh. I I laugh through the whole thing, but there's also very dramatic moments as well. And one of the, in my opinion, and apparently someone else's opinions, one of the best episodes of any of the seasons is Fishes, and it was nominated for um, writing, I believe. Let me see if I can get to it now. Uh, directing. Um, writing, directing and writing. Yes, actor. And I, yeah, well, I don't know if it was for that series or for that uh, episode specifically. Um, but yeah, I think for, it was according to, I don't have the article up anymore from Variety, but I think it was for that, that particular well, episode. Actor in a comedy series on the list we have just says Jeremy Allen White the Bear. So. It, you know, that's for all of them. But Actress that's, in a that's comedy spe- series. That specific that episode, Fishes, is beyond. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it still affects me. I, and we saw it, you know, way back when. I mean, it's just one of the best episodes of television ever done. So I hope that they win. Well, it gave me PTSD flashbacks from my childhood. I think I was sharing in those, and yeah, because obviously I didn't share your childhood, but man, I felt it in that episode. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. I mean, just it's crazy. But, you know, it's interesting yeah. because you know, um, um, it, all of these television shows that are up on up for nominations, every one of them actually, the the degree of professionalism, the degree of story content, the degree of mm-hmm. Uh, everything related to the the between the direction, the cinematography, the costuming, the you know ev- the storylines, um, you know they've really really come out of the gate. Just forgive me for this term, balls to the walls. <laughs> they really have, yeah. <laughs> well, and I think what's interesting, I think what's interesting too about um, television these days and series that. Um, locations have now become another character to the show. Like for the bear, Chicago is just, a, it's a whole nother character of the show. Well, Emily in Paris. And Emily in Paris. You and go to Paris and they've got a tour in specific to just visiting mm-hmm. everywhere that Emily in Paris is 
filmed where they're, you know, the mm-hmm. hotel, the restaurant, the everywhere they're at, you know, the the, yeah. the buildings and so yeah, it's a business all the way around. And location yeah. location has just become so important, I think, to everything. Only murders in the building, New York. New York and another yeah. the 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 whole the the building itself is a character. And it's um, a historic building. It's a true it's a real building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the mm-hmm. bear. The bear is about a real restaurant in Chicago, and they film in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. So, in fact, the and guy, even even Abbott Elementary, which we don't really watch, but I know that it's very much uh, based in Philadelphia. So Philly, yeah. Philly is like a huge part of it. Um, so I think that's interesting because I think back in the day, you know, twenty, thirty years ago, you just the location of it didn't. It wasn't like a big thing. You might know where it was based in. Like the sitcoms of before, you and know, a lot of them were used. sets built like a Universal Studio, right? And, and, right. In and, and lots, and and you mm-hmm. know, Studio A, Studio B, Studio C, mm-hmm. they were all created from that environment, yeah. <laughs> where a lot of these now are are shot on on site, on location, mm-hmm. which is you know kind of cool in itself, and makes the location and a whole other character in itself. So I think it's pretty cool. So, yeah, a lot of these series that are out, both comedy and, and as, you know, I started watching uh, American Horror Story for the first time mm-hmm. because I had seen some information in regard to one particular season with uh, Emma Roberts and uh, whether she's a witch. And I had seen some okay. traitors on it, it. And I went, that actually might be interesting. I never had a desire well, to, to watch it, it up until that they, point. They've said, I mean, I've heard several places that that season is, you know, supposed to be like the best. One of the best seasons. And it was called the, was it called the Coven? The Coven. Yeah. Yeah. Season And I, and I actually started watching it. I started watching it with you too. I got what started in like three or four, third or fourth episode, I guess of it. And then I got into it. So. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. And I. And a lot of these other ones. I mean, we don't watch Abbott Elementary, but we continue to think we we need to. Um, I haven't watched yeah. Your Enthusiasm, which is part of the comedy series, um, which, mm-hmm. you know, I guess I would give it a shot. Hacks, we absolutely want to see Hacks. I want to see Hacks. Which is I, I keep meaning to watch it. I don't know why I keep forgetting, but every time I see something that I'm like, oh, yes, we got to watch that. And then it just... I don't know, for some reason, it goes away. It's not going away now. I am going to watch Hacks. We are it. going to watch Hacks. Yes. yes. And we've got the ability to do it. We just need to do it. We we pay a yes. monthly subscription. Yep. So we might as well use it. Um, yep. The Bear, obviously. The Bear, we're big, huge fans. We've talked about The Bear on the show mm-hmm. before. Only Murders in the Building. We've talked about the Only Murders in the Building uh, on the show as well. They need mm-hmm. to win this time. They really yes. need to win this time. Yes, they do. Palm Royale. Mm-hmm. You and I were watching Palm Royale. You finished it. I have to go mm-hmm. back and catch up on it. You know, it. It took me, I have to be honest, it took me a few episodes to really, I, I, I the first mm, probably three or four episodes, I was like, mm, am I going to keep going with this? I don't know. It, definitely keep going. It is so worth it. It gets so good. And the the finale of the season is like, oh my, wow. okay, I can't even, I can't even, it made me breathless. Reservation Dogs, um, and I'm going to be honest, everybody, I, I'm i not familiar with Reservation Dogs other than, the, I know it used to be a movie, uh, what we do in the I shadows. They, no, I think that's, that's Reservoir Dogs. Well, it is, Reservoir Dogs, oops, whoops, <laughs> <laughs> oops, oops. Well, you know, I have an old guy birthday coming up, so. Yes, you I'll do. use that as my, that that's my. There's my get out of jail free card, right? There you go. Right. Um, what we do in the shadows? I have not seen that either. I don't even know if I've heard of it until we well, was looking at the list. Until now, yeah. So, mm-hmm. you know, obviously we're stuck in, in our little bit. There's so much. We've talked about this too on the show. There is so much, so and much. so many different alternatives across so many different streaming platforms in network TV that it's very difficult unless you quit your job and you get up at six in the morning, you grab a bowl of oatmeal, you sit there in your underwear and watch TV all damn day long. Mm -hmm. Go take a shower, put some fresh clothes on and come out and then watch the rest in the evening, go to bed, get up and do it all over again. Yeah. That's the only way. That's the only way. You'd have to practically watch 24 seven. 
to yeah, get catch it all. Up on everything. There's, there's too much. So. Uh, actress in a comedy series, Quinta Brunson from Abbott Elementary. Elementary, she won. She's won quite a bit, actually. They had a special mm-hmm. last night. We were watching. Uh, well, actually, it was recorded a few nights ago. We were watching it last night. And uh, she got to meet um, um, Carol Burnett. Carol Burnett, again, uh, right. A, a, a more so than she did when Carol gave her her Emmy for winning. Mm-hmm. Um, Ayo Edabiri from The Bear Edibiri. is mm-hmm. in this. Uh, yeah. Selena Gomez only murders in the building. Look, I, Finally. I'm, I'm really hoping Selena wins. Selena needs to win. She's been I, nominated I, so many times. She just needs to I'm win. Hoping, I'm hoping, really, really hoping for her. I just, I have to say with her up against Io and Quinta, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see it happening. I want it to happen, yeah. but I think it's a long shot. Maybe it'll be her day. Her day. It Maybe might be. be. It might be. I mean, we look, she just became a billionaire, right? Mm-hmm. You know, her acting, um, her acting has taken off more so than her music career. She, I yeah. mean, she had a very successful music career, but you know, the mm-hmm. acting and the producing has really launched her into the next realm uh, of well, notoriety. Between yeah, the cooking shows, the, you know, the, the shows on HBO or Max mm-hmm. now, and uh, uh, the reboot of um, Wizards, which is a Waverly Place. Wizards. Wizards. Old guy, old guy, get out of jail card free. I know. Free card. Know. <laughs> um, she she also has a cosmetics line. She's got a cosmetic very, line as well. So very between successful. all of that, so. but just from a production okay. standpoint, she has really entered into this. In fact, she's the first Latina. Was it producer? producer. I think producer. That's been nominated. Or executive producer. It's like either this? producer or executive producer. Yeah. First Latina, yeah, to be nominated. Uh, Maya Rudolph for Loot. Uh, we still have to kind of see loot. Gene Smart mm-hmm. for Hacks. Christian Wink for Paul Morale. Mm-hmm. So we have yet to see who the winner is going to be. But, you know, again, it's a I'm, good rooting, category. I, I'm rooting for Selena Gomez. But everybody in that category mm-hmm. is absolutely, you know, top of the line. Um, yeah. Even the one, I mean, although I haven't seen everybody in their element, you know, mm-hmm. the fact is, is we know them from other areas and realize what, what stellar talent that they are. In every one of these things. Um, yeah. Actor in a comedy series, Matt Berry. Forgive me, Matt, but I don't know you or the series What We Do in the Shadows. Uh, Larry David for Curb Your Enthusiasm. Steve Martin, Only Murders in the Building. Steve Martin's also one really kind of left behind. You know, Steve mm-hmm. needs, needs to come out and, and win something or two, I think. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, they, in fact, they joke around about it, him and Martin Short. Mm-hmm. You know, Martin Short will rub it into him. You know. Well, because Martin Short has won before? Yes, Martin Short has okay. won before. So Steve Martin and, and uh, Martin Short are both, which is bizarre that Steve Martin and Martin Short. Martin Short. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they're both up for only murders from the building. Jeremy Allen White is up for the bear again. Dafaro mm-hmm. Bun, Bunate Bunatai? is Bunatai? up for Reservation Dogs. Again, forgive me. Don't know much yeah, about sorry. it. Sorry, but good I'm luck. sorry if we butchered your name. In, in this particular case, I'm actually rooting for Steve Martin. Yeah, um, I think I'd, I'd go with either Steve or Steve Martin or Martin Short. Um, Jeremy Allen, I would not. I would not be sad if he won. I won't I be sad him. if he won, but so I, I think that um, I just think that Steve needs an opportunity. Like I'm friends with him, Steve. <laughs> Mr. Martin mm-hmm. kind of needs it. Supporting actor in a comedy series. Um, Lionel Boyce from The Bear. Mm-hmm. Which, he's, the, he's the dessert chef. Dessert chef. Oh, yeah, yeah they were talking about the, him on the, the, on CBS Sunday yeah. morning. Um, yeah, I love him. Yeah, where he went to Denmark and you know had to learn from that guy and then came back. Mm-hmm. And you know he's got an amazing story within himself. Paul W. Downs from Hacks. Paul can't say seen it what yet. you've done because we haven't seen you yet, but, you know, but you're here. We want to. We want to. Evan Moss Bachrock but on the bear. Oh, I love him. I love him. I want him to win. I do. I want him to win. You want him to win? I, I love him so much. But Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd how do you not love Paul Rudd? 
How do you not love him? You know? Well, exactly. Tyler, Tyler James Williams in Ab Abbott mm -hmm. Elementary and Bowen Yang in Saturday Night Live. You know, mm -hmm. it, in, in regard to this, Bowen Yang does a brilliant job on SNL. He's my favorite on SNL. Yeah, I think Literally, he does, hands down my favorite, yeah. But I think in this particular case, I'm rooting for either Only Murders in the Building or uh, any one of the Bears people, to be honest. Yeah, because, you know, yeah. Abbott, Abbott took them last year and the year before. Mm -hmm. So we need, some new, we need some new blood, man. New blood, new yeah. blood. Yeah. Supporting actress in a comedy series. This Carol is Burnett, a tough Royale. category. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, tough category. Carol Burnett, Ooh. Palm Royale, uh, oh. Liza Colin Zayas in The Bear, Hannah mm -hmm. Einenheim, Ein, Ein, Ein Einbinder. Binder. Einbinder. I think it's Einbinder because when we were listening to it mm -hmm. the other day on um, one of the shows, uh, from mm -hmm. Hacks, Janelle James, Abbott Elementary, Cheryl Lee Ralph, Abbott Elementary, Meryl Streep, Only Murders in the Building. So there oh you still goodness. get... The bear is is prominent. Only murders is mm -hmm. prominent. You know, again. Um, I know who I want. Who do you want? I want Carol Burnett. You know, Carol. Carol is ninety one years old, and she looks about seventy one. I think. Yeah, well, in the right light. I think lighting, she looks really because good. Because you know when they yeah. when she was on that special, when they were when they were in one shot, the lighting was great. Mm -hmm. They were mm -hmm. in the other shot when she stepped in and talked to, uh, to. Um, oh, the, the lighting wasn't set up for her. Yeah, so oh, I didn't notice that. I just love her. Yeah, love you, Carol. But you know, we'll see whether or not she gets it. But in but she's so she's so Palm good Royale. in this. I mean, you haven't Amazing. gotten to see her in this. The the parts of Palm Royale you've seen is when she was basically comatose, so yeah. you didn't really see. Oh my gosh. Well, I and saw the, her in a wheelchair the, when she was up moving around and not moving and around, the, but you know, she moved around yeah. in a wheelchair and, and uh, but of, what happened the twist at the oh my gosh. The twist at the end of the last season of Palm Royale. <gasps> and Liza Colin Zayas, oh. um, she does a brilliant job in the bear. Oh, she's great, yeah. I mean she really does. Yeah, she, and, I love her too. You know, she like she said did she in the interview that we watched her in, did she say this this was her first Real mm -hmm. supporting role. Well, it's her first. Uh, I don't know about that. I know it's her first Emmy nomination. I think she says this is the first major part that she's ever been in like this. Because well, she's. I think she's been on. I think she said she's been on Broadway. Yeah, um, but I mean, I mean, TV wise. Right, right, right. But if she. I mean, so yeah. she's been acting for. They said she's been acting for three decades. But yeah. yes, I think this is like the first major part, kind of and, more well known major. Yeah. From that perspective, and of course, that'd be fun. Meryl Streep, that'd be fun for her to win. It would be. Um, mm -hmm. Meryl Streep only emerged in the building. She did a really good job on that as well as a as a supporting actress. You know, more, mm -hmm. obviously, she uh, is in this season as well of Only Murders, mm -hmm. kind of a follow up. But um, so I'm not sure. I mean, Carol personally, I think Carol should win. She's so good, and it, and it just gets better. I mean, it's just or even Liza. Uh, Even yeah. Liza. No, I I wouldn't be sad. I wouldn't be sad. Directing, okay. you know, so, um, you know, obviously, uh, Abbott Elementary, The Bear, The Bear, uh, The Gentleman, which um, haven't watched that yet. Hacks, which we haven't watched yet. The Mrs. Pat Show. Mrs. I'm Pat Show. sorry, Mary Lou Belly, for I'm the Pappy. I haven't watched Mrs. Pacho or the Ms. Pacho, pardon me. Ms. Pacho. I haven't seen that mm -hmm. yet. But, you know, I heard of I, it. as we said before, on any one of these, at least the ones that we've watched, the directing, the cinematography, the acting, the locations, the everything is stellar, stellar. Mm -hmm. So it's a very tough competition. So I really can't call mm -hmm. in on this one. I'm, I'm going for Fishes, the episode, the Fishes episode for the bear. Well, yeah, that's a good it's one. Still, Still, that's the one we were talking about. Yeah, yeah. It, so yeah, I forgot. I'm still that's a good affected. One. So yeah, still I, affected. I, I would probably go with the bear because um, uh, I'm going to go hide in the corner here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, it it because it invoked so much emotion that it literally 
honest to God, triggered me from my childhood. I had mm -hmm. PTSD flashbacks in regard to my childhood because of that particular episode. I almost didn't watch it. And our daughter, remember? Well, she our forewarned daughter, us. She forewarned us and said, hey, mm -hmm. when you watch this, it may trigger you, so be careful. You may not okay. want to watch it. So mm -hmm. I guess I'm going to go for Christopher Storer for The Bear Fishes. Yep. Here's yep. what I'm going to go for. Uh, writing for a comedy series. Some of these, we can't go through all these. We don't have time. Mm -mm. But uh, writing, of course, Abbott Elementary is up. Quinta Brunson, uh, The Bear, Christopher Storer for Fishes. Mm -hmm. I'd have to say, you know. I'm going there. <laughs> I'm going to go there. Just going to go there. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, uh, who is it? Uh, yeah, Christopher Storer and Joanne Kahlo jo for Joanne Kalo. Fishes, for the bear. I'm going to go for that. That's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. But the other people, you know, there were Abbott Elementary, the bear, girls, fi five, five ever. ever. Five ever. Five girls, Eva. five ever. It's about a group of girls that were a singing group and then they all get back together to try to revive their careers and they're all like mm -hmm. middle-aged kind of a situation. So they're kind of dealing with that. It's on my list. I'll put it on our list, but we haven't mm -hmm. had a chance to see it yet. Um, Hacks, we, obviously we haven't yet. The other two haven't seen that one yet. And what we do in the shadows, we still haven't watched that. But they're nominated enough, we need to put that on the list, I guess. Well, and the same with Hacks. Hacks might... Hacks, Hacks might be, well. uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, Contender. Sleep, well, a sleeping, what do they call it? Mm, sleeper agent. A Russian agent. S a sleeper <laughs> agent. No? <laughs> Maybe just the sleeper? I don't, there's some term. I don't know. Anyway, they may surprise us. And Hacks may come away with a lot. Because they sure are in a lot of categories. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you what. I, I, I'm embarrassed to say on the drama series, uh, you watched The Crown. Yes. Uh, Fallout, I haven't, I haven't watched that. Not sure what that's about. I, never, I don't think I've heard of it. Uh, the Gilded Age, you watched that. Started to watch started it. Started to watch it as I well. And I could not get into it. I wish I, I kind of wish I'd stayed with it because I, I honestly didn't think it'd still be going on this long. So it must get better. It must yeah. just be one of those you got to hang out for. So I might try that again. The Morning Show, Mr. and Mrs. Love Smith. always. Uh, we've watched all of those. And um, so oh, you have, uh, yes, I've watched the Gild part of the Gilded Age too. Um, oh, you did, yeah. yeah. Uh, Slow Horses, which I'm watching now. Uh, a three Body Problem, I'm also watching now. Yes, I multitask. I'm not, I'm not watching any of those. Um, <laughs> but I also work full time, so true. So, from what I have seen so far. Uh, mm -hmm. Slow Horses and Three Body Shogun, obviously. I, look, I love the morning show. Mm -hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I loved it. Uh, Slow Horses, I, I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying Three Body Problems. Yeah, I, I think Shogun's going to Shogun take that needs, one. Yeah, I think Shogun needs to take it for a drama series. I really, mm -hmm. really do. It draws you into history. The, the, I mean, you feel like you're part of what's happening. Mm-hmm. And you feel like you're part wow. and you're learning and you're walking through the historical aspect of this particular program. So I'm going for Shogun. Okay. Actor in a drama series, Idris Elba in Hijack, Danny Glover, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Walton Coggins, Fallout, Gary Oldman, Slow Horses, Hiroyuki Sanada, Shogun, uh, Dominic West, The Crown. Um, so I don't know who Dominic West of The Crown is, but I know you watched him. I'm trying to think who he played. Um, I, I just, you know, for me, the last season of The Crown was. Mm, mm, okay. I like the earlier. I like the earlier seasons, the his, the more history because I was alive for the. Last, I put, I know about the whole last season of The Crown. Like I was there, so it was kind of not as great for me. Well, I'm but, going for Hiroyuki and Shogun. Um, yeah. It's an amazing transformation this individual accomplishes within there and i think that uh again the whole you just gotta watch you just gotta watch it oh, now yeah. it this is yeah. not for kids shogun yeah. is not <laughs> for kids so certainly not the parts i've seen no you absolutely make you know, need to make sure that you know it's your choice you're the parent 
But uh, right. you know, don't let them watch it by themselves. Uh, put it that direction. Actress in a drama series. Um, my girlfriend from the morning show. Carney Coon, Branson. The Gilded Age, Maya Erskine, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Anna Sawai from Shogun, who she's really up and coming in this way. Um, watched her recently in, so I watched Anna Sawai in a couple of different things, including one recently with uh, uh, Kurt Russell, um, Imelda Stanton, The Crown, Reese Witherspoon, The Morning Show. So Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon are up against each other for actors in a drama series. We'll have to see how that plays out. You know, it wouldn't break my heart if either one of those won mm. or Anna won because I think um, I think it's really between Jennifer, Anna, and Reese is who yeah. I really think is going to be through. Maya Erskine did a really good job in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And, um, you know, she's come a long way when she was, since she first got into the business. Uh, mm-hmm. But um, I think that, that really she's up against some tough competition here. And mm-hmm. I really can't pick one at the moment. But I, I wouldn't, wouldn't break my heart. I think, I think Anna's going to get it. I think I Shogun so well. is just too big right now. Um, but, of course, never would break my heart to see Jennifer or Reese win, ever. I mean, I would mm. just love that. So, Supporting actor in a drama series. Ugh. I have to learn Japanese for all of this if we're going to do this again. Mm. Ta- Tadanobu Asano. Asano. Shogun. Oh, Billy God. Crudup, The Morning Show. Brilliant. Love him. Love him. Mark Duplass, The Morning Show. Brilliant. Yes. John oh. Hamm, The Morning Show. Brilliant. Uh, Takehiro Hira, Shogun, brilliant. Jack Ludden from Slow Horses. He does a really good job in that. I'm still getting into it. And Jonathan Price in The Crown. So what you have is uh, one... It's a tough one. You have two people from Shogun up against each other and three people from The Morning Show up against each other. They may Uh, cancel each other out and one of the other two might get it. This is going to be really, (laughs) really, really tough. And and I'll be honest with you, other than Jack Loudon and Jonathan Price, who, uh, Jonathan Price, I don't know, forgive me, Jonathan, I don't know you or The Crown. I Uh, feel like he played, I feel like, who did he play? I feel like he played Philip, or not Philip, um, Charles. I feel like that was Charles, Charles. but I'm not sure. uh, And Jack Loudon and Slow Horses, uh, like I said, I'm just getting into it. it. He's doing a brilliant job. But mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, between Shogun and the Morning Show, each one of those that's actors tough. right there, over the top, 100%. Yeah, that's tough. So any one of those would win. Helps, you know, I'm good with it. Supporting actors in the drama series, Christine Boransky, The Gilded Age. Um, I did, it, it, it's interesting. Um, her costuming was interesting mm-hmm. in The Gilded Age. Uh, Nicole Baharik in the Morning Show. Bahari. Or Bahari, excuse me. Bahari in the Morning Show. Elizabeth uh, Debicki, The Crown. Greta mm-hmm. Lee, The Morning Show. Leslie Manville, The Crown. Karen Pittman, The Morning Show. Holland Taylor, The Morning Show. So Morning Show seems to be, you know, wiping the table with that one. One, two, mm-hmm. three, four of them. And every one of mm-hmm. them deserved to win. Yep. Every yep. one of them deserved to win. So... That's you know, a tough one too. Yeah, and and then it, and I, any one of those individuals, if they won, I would be very very happy for that to happen mm-hmm. because I think they've all I done. I think, really... I think for me, probably Greta Lee. Probably Greta Lee for me. Well, I'd be good with. I, I don't have a picture. I'd favorite. be great with any of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But directing for a drama series, you know, I, I'm going to skip through some of these. So, because in reality, um, yeah, we're going to skip those drama, writing for drama series, uh, limited series. How about for limited series? Let's talk about that for a little oh, bit. Oh, yes. yes. We've got to. We've got to. <gasps> Baby Reindeer. Is a nomination for a limited series. Baby Reindeer, <laughs> Fargo, Lessons in Chemistry, Ripley, True Detective, Night Country. Baby Reindeer, Baby Reindeer, Baby Reindeer. Yeah, and I'm and, gonna say it again. <laughs> Baby <laughs> Reindeer has to win this category. Uh, although I've heard oh lessons God. in chemistry is really, really good. Fargo's really, really good. Ripley's really, really good, and True Detective Night Country is really, I, really good. 
I've sure. heard Fargo is yeah. There's a lot of people that really, really, really dig Fargo. So, but and True Detective, I haven't caught up to this one yet, but I know yeah. the cast is like a brilliant uh, cast, and you know it is. It is going oh, to be a challenge to see who wins that Jody, one. Isn't Jodie Foster the Jody star Foster, of that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. You know, the fact with Baby Reindeer, though, you know, it's it, it's Netflix. Netflix is being sued by, and that guy wow. are being sued by the woman that apparently, we'll say allegedly, allegedly portrayed in the film. Right. The woman that believes it is her being portrayed in the film. Um, who was tracked down by like a ton of other people? Uh, it, it is the, fan, the fans tracked her down. The fans tracked they, her down. So they sort of like added up all the uh, two, clues. Two plus two equals Supposedly four, four, tracked four, four, her down. So supposedly, allegedly, we are not saying it's her. <laughs> I'm yes. just saying it was a really, really, really good show. Really intense. Very intense. Oh my gosh! So episode four. Is, oh, okay. And of course, actress in a limited series of TV movie, Jodie Foster, True Detective, Brie Larson, Lessons in Chemistry, Juno Temple and Fargo. We love Juno Temple. Sophia Vergara, uh, Vergara in Griselda, Naomi Watson mm-hmm. Feud, Capote versus the Swans. Which we still need to watch. Still need to watch that. Yes, we do. Mm-hmm. Um, even Griselda. I think, you know, I wasn't interested in Griselda in the first place, but mm-hmm. I may watch it just to kind of see what that, because I know that the woman, Griselda, that was portrayed by Sofia Vergara, Vergara. Her family's suing. They're in her family suing. Yeah. They're suing yeah. Sofia and um, Netflix, actually. Is it Netflix? I believe so. Mm. Yeah. Actor in the limited series, Matt Boner, fellow travelers, um, Richard God, Baby yeah. Reindeer. Richard. John Hamm, Fargo, Dom Hollander for Feud, Capote versus the Swans, and Andrew Scott and Ripley. So, you know, I have to abstain because the only one I've actually seen anything of is uh, Baby Reindeer. Yeah, but please, I, yeah, that's, that's my choice. That's my choice. That's your choice? Your that's story choice. and you're sticking it's, to it? I mean, I didn't even, <clears throat> I didn't even know until I was, I don't know, halfway through it, but he, this happened to him. He's the one this happened to. It's his story. So he wrote, he it. wrote it. He, he, he act, yeah. He's acting in it. I, just the fact that he's acting again in what happened to him in real life, just. Yeah. And I think I he's directed a few of them as well. Could do that. Yeah. I, I don't, I mean, that just seems phenomenal to me that he could relive all of that. Yeah, so, because yes, when you watch it, it's very intense. Another one don't watch for the kids. No. Supporting actor no. in a limited series or TV movie, Jonathan Bailey, Fellow Travelers, which, again, I'm not exactly sure what that one is. I probably should have done some mm-hmm. research in regard to Fellow Travelers. Uh, Robert Downey Jr., The Sympathizer, Tom Goodman, Hill, is. Baby Reindeer, John mm-hmm. Hawks, True Detective, Night Country, and La- Lamorne Morris, Morris in Fargo. And uh, they interviewed him the other day. We've watched him... In new was it New Girl? New New Girl. Yeah, we love him in New Girl. And this is completely opposite from New Girl. Um, Yeah. Well, he's he's mostly known for his comedy. Yeah. So. So something. I I would love to see him win this. I would love to see him win this. Oh, also Louis Louis Pullman from Lessons in Chemistry and Treat Williams feud Capote versus the Swans. Um, Wow. Supporting actress in a limited series of TV movie, Dakota Fanning and Ripley, uh, which again I've seen some commercials for that, so I'm gonna I've got it on our list. Lily Gladstone mm-hmm. under the bridge. Remember Lily Gladstone from <laughs> Lily Gladstone from Killers of the Flower Moon. Mm-hmm. You know she won she won that, and it was the first uh, Native American that had won that, and um, she's mm-hmm. a really really outstanding actress. So. You know, uh, hopefully, you know, I don't know whether or not she has an opportunity here because I haven't seen Under the Bridge. But Jessica Gunning from Baby Reindeer, Aja Naomi King, Lessons in Chemistry, Diane Lane, Feud, Capote versus the Swans. We know Diane Lane from Under the Tuscan Sun, one of my favorite movies. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nava Mao, uh, Baby Reindeer, Mm -hmm. and Kai Reese, True Detective Night Country. 
I think it's Kylie. Oh, Kaylee. Kaylee. Kaylee, Kaylee Reese. Reese. Uh, True Detective Night Country. Now, uh, she is also a Native American actress. Yes, she is. Yeah, yeah, so, she is. And so she's, uh, there's two Native Americans who are up for awards mm -hmm. in this. I think they, we saw on the Emmy special that we were watching mm -hmm. that that's kind of a, a, um, a unique thing as well. Um, so I, I'm Jessica Gunning, did she play yes. the, she the played stalker? Her. She played her. She played her. She yeah. did a really good job on that because you would actually believe it. Yeah, you she's amazing. Absolutely, one hundred percent believe it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, good luck to every one of them in regard to that. I really don't have a favorite uh, because I'm gonna have to abstain, really, because I've only seen uh, Baby Reindeer. So, yeah. uh, directing for Lemonshire, we'll skip that one. Writing for Lemonshire, skip that one. Talk series, The Daily Show, Jimmy Kimmel Live, Late Night with Seth Meyers, The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. You know, they all are great. They're all great. But The Daily I, Show I always, always, always wins. Yeah. You know, so... I, I couldn't, I just can't pick because I love all of them. You know, I, I think that somebody else has to, get, has to have a chance. You know, The Daily Show always wins. And... Um, I has love Jimmy the Daily Kimmel, Show. Is, is Jimmy Kimmel the only one that hasn't won in that group? I believe Jimmy Kimmel has not won. I don't think Stephen Colbert's won. Yeah, I think he won. I think he won one, so at least once. I think. Hmm. And I we'll know, have to check I know that Seth out. Yeah. Won too, so, so anyway, any one of those yeah. that win, obviously we're fans of them all. So whoever mm -hmm. does win. They've also took uh, last week tonight with John Oliver and made it a scripted variety series and started a live gonna a say, scripted variety series. I was just going to say it's interesting that they took that him out of that talk show late night talk show category because he kept winning, he kept winning and winning and winning, and he's great. But right. that must be why they put it in a separate separate category. It's scripted. It's all scripted. It's not really a talk show. Right. It's all scripted. I say in reality, the last week with John Oliver. Look, I, it's, I'm a Saturday Night Live fan, and we've watched it. I mean, I've watched it since the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, not to get, well, everybody knows I'm um, an old guy anyway, but, you know, it's in its 50th season. So it's kind of one of those things that, you know, I've been a fan for, for this whole time. But, you know, lately they, mm -hmm. they have their ups and downs. They just fired three cast members and replaced them. And, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot going on at Saturday Night Live right now. They've lost... A lot of our favorites have moved on, yeah. and yeah. they're replacing with new people that aren't really working out. So we'll have to see what happens with this. Uh, John Oliver, I do love the show when we do have a chance mm -hmm. to see it, but I, you know I do. Uh, reality competition, good luck to you all. We really don't watch you. I think that reality competition programs. This is my personal opinion. You know, this is just me talking. My personal opinion. I think that the the other than the voice, we do watch the voice every once in a while. Wow. I think the rest of the amazing race. We're done with your it. Your sister. Your sister used to really love that show. I don't know if she's she still watching it. it or she not. didn't like it anymore. RuPaul's but Drag Race, Top Chef, The Traitors, and The Voice. Here's uh, here's who I think is missing, and I think you'll agree. What's missing out of that? AGT. I couldn't believe they weren't there. Yeah, AGT's not AGT's there. AGT's not in there. It should be. And we watch that. We watch yeah. that one. Yeah. Uh, reality hosts will kind of skip that. So that's kind of a rundown. And mm -hmm. and kind of what's up and what's going on tonight. And, you know, it's going to be exciting because uh, some hopefully our favorites are going to win. Hopefully your favorites are going to win. Hopefully we have the same favorites and, and they'll win <laughs> so we can all celebrate together. Yeah, throw, so we don't have to have a fight. Party. So we don't have to throw down. We... <laughs> Yeah, because trust me, you know, Diana, Diana, whip your butt, Diana. You know, <laughs> no. Nope. Um, I'm not a fighter. <laughs> not a fighter. She. Not a fighter. Um, mm. It is. It is going to be a, a nice, fun evening. We are going to make uh, vegan smash burgers mm -hmm. with some nice, Sweet freshly fries. baked brioche buns and mm. Beyond Meat. Um, and some uh, uh, Ohana sweet potato French fries. 
So we're gonna we're gonna get ready. We're we're just gonna enjoy the evening is what we're gonna do. And, and you I'm, all should I'm too. I'm starving. I'm starving. So let's go. So anyway. <laughs> yep. Again, it starts tonight. I believe it starts at exactly. it shows up at five PM Pacific, which is in an mm -hmm. hour and twelve minutes from now. Yeah. So hurry up and listen to this and then get get on get on you know i may not have time to put that uh, list up so no probably not what I'll where did you is, find it i found it on variety variety.com absolutely so just go okay. on there you can find a complete list you actually just type in a complete list of emmy emmy nominees yeah. and that you can come and then up you can more. keep track and you can keep track of the winners and there you yeah. are. So this is One More Thing Before You Go. So before we all go, thank you very much for being part of One More Thing Before You Go over the Teacup Sundays with Diane and I. Thank you for being part of the One More Thing Before You Go regular show on Wednesdays in this community that we've got. We are grateful for you being here. Again, as you've noticed, we are making some subtle changes that are implementing so that you get a better experience with us and we look forward to continue to implement those completely. You'll see that all come through here before the end of the year. And one more thing before you all go, have a great day, have a great week, and thank you for being here. Bye. Thanks for listening to this episode of One More Thing Before You Go. Check out our website at beforeyougopodcast.com. You can find us as well as subscribe to the program and rate us on your favorite podcast listening platform.